Greetings and salutations, welcome back to another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard. And we are continuing our Aztec game, going for, trying to fulfill the requirements for Sunset Invasion. And so far things are going well, it's only 1672, and despite a lot of debt and some tech imbalance, we have three of our objective cities. We have Amsterdam, we have London, we have Lisbon. We still need Madrid. I still need Paris, and we still need Rome. Promises our institutions just are not spreading to us. Despite having all the gold that we have, we don't make much trade money. We don't have super high development. Yeah, our trade money is pretty pitiful. I'm thinking we save our cash up for adopting this institution rather than paying off her debt. And they'll be disloyal for one month and then loyal. Fortunately, because we would not have any debt if we didn't have to worry about institutions. I think we're going to have to go for that increased military tech cost. This Highlands, but I want to kill these guys and stop paying our troops. As soon as they refill in a little bit. Oh, Spain. Well, we're going to have to repay that loan, I guess. And let's just drop that army maintenance all the way down. We're making 27 ducats a month while we're not paying our troops. That's pretty good. I wonder we need 170. It's not worth it. Okay, we can grant a general. That'll get us up to 60. Yeah, that's fine. We'll get 100 military power. Yeah, we're gonna have to put these guys down. They're probably going to rise up in Lancashire, and then we'll just send troops by ship. We'll have to obviously pay them first. We got caught here spying, didn't we? Start building that spy network back up. And let's improve relations with France. That charter. Not that we're actually colonizing at the moment. Let's just keep coring our stuff. Let's see if they're in a position 
Yeah, they could join a coalition against us, or start a coalition against us, rather. Ten percent chance. I think we're going to have to provoke them a little. They rise up, they rise up. If they don't, they will go away. Okay, I don't know where these guys are. Caceres, that's gotta be Spain. That's the province we took. Yeah, Caceres. If we paid our troops even a little bit. I'm sure this is going to become due sometime soon. Yeah, September. So we'll have to pay it off then. And there are those English rebels. They did pop up in Lancashire. We'll start paying our troops. Oh dear, why would you do that right then? Okay, let's mark our vital interest over Madrid. And we've got to wait a month so that we get some, some morale. Okay, let's hit them and hope that our morale lasts. Okay, we did. Uh, let's try to take out... Those... Uh, took out the Portuguese capital. Wish France hadn't have done that. Yeah, we're gonna have to pay that back. Because that pretty much guarantees that we're going to be fighting a war here, and which we're not going to get. Madrid. So they declared on Portugal. Over what? White. Yeah, I don't even have any troops over there to snatch it up, so this is probably going to be a losing war. I could just hope that they hurt Spain quite a bit in the fighting. Yeah, there aren't gonna, there's not going to be any good terrain. We have to just fight. Babbling buffoon, you do. Well, we'll still send you an insult back. 
And we're embargoing Spain, but not our other rivals. So let's go ahead and double check Spain, England. Is getting caught up more, except for that admin tech. That's that's the problem. So we're in the cheaper guy now. We'll just get the prestige. Just occupy as much Portugal as we can. Because lower interest rate, I would have accepted that and just not paid them back. Yeah, it's a losing naval battle. France is outgunned, and there's going to be reinforcements. Well, maybe not. And after this, we're going to march troops on to Madrid. And it is our two siege guy that's in charge there, so that's good. We'll just protect our capital, because they'll have to attack into mountains to try to siege it down, and I don't think they're really going to be eager to do that. Let's upgrade that fort. It's not the best use of our money. Uh, it's certainly not the worst thing that we could do strategically. At least France is throwing everything they have at, at Spain. But they don't want to move on to a level 6 fort in the mountains. So let's go ahead and snatch up a bunch of the territory here. Let's make life more difficult for the Spanish. Garvey, so they're going into Portugal. Let's go ahead and see if we can kill that stack. Our Lancashire already rose up, so let's go ahead and convert them. It's not going to give us any more rebel problems than they already have. I'll we'll just kill their troops whenever it's advantageous for us to do so. Occupy Sevilla just to hurt their trade power and thus their pocketbook. And in fact, when we raise some war taxes, make us some cash, and some corruption. That's unfortunate. They're going to liberate Granada. It's more important that we take Toledo. 
they're sorry, they're going to liberate Sevilla from Granada. Okay, now we need to end this coalition against us. Who's in it? And then Bremen will be the next one we do. We'll do the Dutch last, because we've already improved relations with them recently. We can't get them positive right now. France, you really should get one unit of mercs, capture Waida. See if they've split up. No, they haven't. <laughs> they brought in tons of troops. Okay, we're going to have rebellions spiking up all over the place because of that. And they choose a crappy CB too. And that'd be pretty comfortable white piecing them, or uh, in separate piecing them out from Madrid. But we're not going to have that kind of individual war score unless we control the, the war goal or something. Despite having both our capitals. And I imagine that France is going to separate piece out Spain. And they're going to screw us in the peace deal. So I'll be entirely comfortable with that if they inflict enough damage on Spain. That'll make my job of taking Madrid in the next war easier. Messina with his as a Spanish ally. But while we're fighting Spain, he's offering us cash. Kill this little stack. Probably have a spare general sitting around somewhere. We do. Recapture Sevilla. And you realize that we occupy your capital, right? <laughs> You get that, don't you? Okay. We want... Hmm. Oh. I think we're going to have to upset the merchant guilds. Which is bad because that slows the spread of global trade. We're not mu making much money off a trade in the first place, so that's not really spreading.
Let's check the mint. Okay, get this mint ready. Come on. Well, these Spain's war enthusiasm is pretty low. We just captured another of their forts. So that should lower it even further. Glen versus Burgundy. Be a hilarious fight, I think. I mean, obviously, England's trying to occupy Kent and get a peace deal on the strength of that. Yeah, you guys can move through my country. Kill each other. I'd love to liberate this stuff, but we've got to protect our capital. That's our only fort. Okay. Well, we move our troops here. If France is going to kill those rebels. Then we just need to lock stuff off so they can't move, they can't liberate Sevilla. I'll just keep the conversions going. Okay, let's see how long this video has been going on. 22 minutes. Yeah, I don't think this war is going to last too much longer. Uh, the bad part is going to be once Spain pieces out. Our side is going to lose a lot of a lot of war score. Hunger Tennessee. Maybe we could do that. military power? Sure. Let's just finish this off because then we are lowered attrition. We cause more attrition to our enemies. We get the spy destruction. We get 25% more manpower, 2% cheaper military tech, and now we can just worry about a military tech. Yeah, the papacy was knocked out. Did they have to sign a peace treaty? Well, they become our ally. We could use allies for now. I mean, we want their capital, but for now, that alliance could be useful to us. Well, why? We climbed. Oh, they left Granada. Why would you guys do that? and give them military access. And then we'll send a guy to improve relations with them. If the alliance lasts that long. Okay, guess not. We don't want the rebels to liberate this province because 
we want all of our European stuff to be occupied for as long as possible. Same thing is going to happen in our country, too. Hopefully, oh, those are ships. At least we didn't lose any this time. Hopefully, they'll, our enemies will put down those. Yeah, they just completely betrayed us. So, that was fair play. You betray us on the peace table, we will betray you on the peace table. Okay, that hurt our trust, but we do have favors. And now they're going to have to throw a lot more troops into this war than they actually try. How are we going to get to those guys? We're going to have to send this fleet back. And we'll send our ships out to protect Mexico. Air war exhaustion should be ticking down, so we shouldn't see any further rebel problems. I think everyone has left the coalition except for Burgundy and Netherlands. Yep. And they're both at war. So once they're at peace, I imagine the coalition will fall apart completely. So we can't get that alliance again. Potentially get an alliance with Brabant. And maybe even Tuscany, depending on now. They're still rivals with Tunis. Yeah, I wish they wouldn't give us a nine-year peace treaty here. So I think Spain took that last war pretty hard. Okay, I think this video is probably at 30-minute mark. It is. Let's stop here.